Hi guys, it's uh, Enam Gavor again with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, if you watch uh, one of my previous videos, you would have seen me install ice cream sandwich uh, or upgrading it, should I say, from uh, Gingerbread 2.3.6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to root uh, the ice cream sandwich ROM that we installed. So, if I'll just show you the version number by going to the settings and then uh, about, you can see there it's uh, Android version 4.0.3. And the baseband version is double XLPQ. I will put a link in the description of where you can download uh, this root uh, official root uh, file from uh, the CF root file. Um, so first of all, what we need to do is power off the phone. Uh, so it's off. Okay. So once that powers off, what we're going to do is put it into download mode by pressing volume rocket down power. Also, that's already off. So, volume rocket down, power on the home button together until the phone uh, turns itself on and gets to the download menu. And then from there, we accept the warning warning by pressing the volume up button. There you go, it's in download mode. So, what we need now do is just connect it uh, to the computer. And what we'll do is just move over to the computer where we'll uh, open up Odin and uh, install the CF root file. Uh, via Odin. As I say, I will put a link in the description of where you can download this file from. Now on the PC, I've got a, a folder on my desktop where I've put the file uh, that I downloaded, um, which was a CF root file, and it's uh, a .tar file um, once you've unzipped it. Okay, as I say, the, there will be a link in the description of where you can download this from. Uh, first things first, we need to uh, load up Odin. I will put a link in the description as well for this, as uh, where you can download it. What you need to do is leave everything blank as it is. Ensure on the left hand side here you've only got the auto reboot and the reset time ticked. Everything else is unticked. Uh, and then what you do on the on the right hand side, tick where it says PDA and click on PDA and locate the, the root file that you've downloaded uh, from the link that I'll post in the description. Uh, let me just locate it. Here we go. And it's a dot tar file. Uh, as I explained, so just select it, and it uh, and this CF root file includes uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery version 5. Um, so you can do system images of the phone as well if you're interested in that sort of thing, doing backups and whatnot. Um, so select it, hit open, okay, it puts a path in there, and then you're ready to rock. So all you need to do uh, is hit start. I will just advise at this point that I did put the phone into USB debugging mode. And you can do that by going through uh, application settings, applications, uh, and then development, and just tick USB debugging just before you do this. Um, okay, so now we've uh, just let you know that. Know that. Um, once the path is in here, all you do is click start, and it's a fairly quick process. And it does it really quick there. And you should say path once it's done. You can see the phone's already finished really quickly. The phone's rebooting now. We've got a green path there in Odin, uh, symbolising that it's done. So we'll just X out of this because we no longer need it, and we'll go back to the phone. The phone's rebooting. Um, it still kept my custom boot up animation uh, there as well, so that's not the standard one because that's now rooted. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to load, and then we'll see. Uh, it should give us the two CWM and the super user icons in there and it's just stating that it's, uh, Android is upgrading and it's just doing another reboot there again okay so that's done put it on the swipe screen so just unlock it as normal I'll just type in my pin okay so the phone's um, back um, to the the home screen so what we do is go to applications and then once that loads if we scroll through um, a list of applications we should see one of the CWM or the super user icons at some point and now let's have a look here we go you got the CWM and the super user SU application just symbolizing that the phone's um, rooted 
and you can see it's connecting to the wipe already as well just crown that access that's it um, just show you again and this is indeed if I just get to the applications of course when you upgrade the operating system it doesn't keep your folder selection uh, if you've seen one of my other videos you know I've got loads of folders so that's just the, the version numbers that I've got there Android version 4.0.3 um, with the baseband version of XXLPQ and that's how easily you root uh, the new ice cream sandwich operating system um, as I say there will be a link in the description where you can download the, the CF root file from and also a link for it in, in, the, in the description any comments or questions please put those below hit subscribe from the button up top there just to keep in touch with what I'm doing and check out what I'm up to uh, thanks for watching and goodbye